Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chili, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Chilling with Chili, and I really, really like doing this, and I know a lot of people actually like this series, which is awesome. I get to talk about stuff, not just doing cut com form, you know, how it goes. So, I'd just like to say big thank you to Twin Sidious or Linus. Um, his Twitter will be in the description, you should all follow him because he's a legend. And he's Swedish and he's awesome. And uh, he provided his gameplay because I, I suck at COD. I don't really try much and I don't even play COD that much. Only to record videos. So um, I just want to talk about something today. Like I was thinking about it. Like I saw the Black Ops 3 trailer of Black Ops 3 gameplay. And I was like, it kind of gave me flashback images. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? And I was watching the trailer and then I suddenly thought, of when I was in year eight, and that was when Black Ops Three was coming, Black Ops Two was coming out, and I'm in year eleven now. I've finished school now, but um, I was in year eight, and I was thinking about Black Ops Two all the time. I had a countdown timer on it on my phone. I was so hyped for that game, even though I didn't have any money to pre-order or anything. I still was so excited about it, and I, you know, I was hyped about it. All my friends were excited, and went round to my friend's house the day it came out. And uh, we're just playing it all day long. We're playing zombies, playing multiplayer, playing everything. And when I was watching it, I was thinking that like can't be three years, almost three years ago that I was that excited for Black Ops 3. I was, I could like vividly remember everything about this. Well, I remember where I was sitting. I remember who was on my desk. I remember what my teacher's name was. I remember everything. And I just thought. You know, time flies so fast, and I remember when I the day I was getting my PS3 in 2012 or April 2012, and I just thought like I remember it. I remember the food I got that day. I got like Wendy's. I, it's not it's not American Wendy's. It's like um, it's like ice cream and it's like hot dogs and stuff. It's it's not anything to do with Wendy's. I've been to like American Wendy's in New Zealand, but it's like not the same probably. But anyway. So I was just thinking, like, time really, really flies because, like, once you're doing stuff, and once you, because I moved country, moved to the other side of the world, and it's just changed so much. I've met so many more new people. A lot of stuff has happened in that time, and it's gone really, really fast. And probably by the time you know it, like, life will be coming to an end. It's kind of scary to think, but like a like a snap, like a snap of the fingers. Uh, you know, you could, you could like, die. It's horrible to think about, but it's true. And, like, it's depending on like, what you do in your lifetime. It really counts, because if you're just doing nothing, and being really bored doing it, or you've got a really bad job, or they're paying a lot of money, but you're really not enjoying your life, like your job, that's not good. You want to be doing something you really love doing, something that because you don't only have one life. You can get loads. Of, you can get any money you want. Like you can get money, you can lose money, whatever. But you can't. You can't get your life. You can't get more life if you understand me. So you can. You can do that, but you. Oh, it's kind of hard to talk about, but it's kind of hard to word. But yeah, just saying like. I was thinking about it, just do stuff in your life that you like doing because by the time you know it, like that, it'll be, it's already three years gone past since I got my PlayStation and that's when I started properly gaming like every day, um, but yeah, it's, it's gone so quickly and I remember the day that my uh, dad broke all of his ribs in one of his like uh, sides and I was with him that day and I remember everything about that and I almost had to drive home because I almost had like an epilepsy um, in the car but that's another story for another day uh, I'm gonna tell that very very soon because it's very interesting um, but just I don't know it's just so interesting to think that the way time works and it kind of messes my head up not joking like just thinking about time and time travel. I want to do that one day. Have you, if you've seen the movie, what was it? That time travel movie. It just came out. It's really, really sick. But you should go watch that. Very good movie. But I was just saying, I want to, in my life, I want to be doing stuff that I want, you know, to remember, to have all those good moments. Because that's what I did in New Zealand. Like, I would go around friends' house all the time, would just be playing COD. And that was that was a really good time. As long as, as long as you're having fun in your life and you're going to remember moments like that, then it's always going to be good. And it's not, it's never being, like, wasted. Because 
parents think you're wasting your life on the internet, you're wasting life talking on Xbox with friends or whatever, playing games all the time and that is completely wrong you're never wasting something, wasting your life when you enjoy doing it, I enjoy playing Xbox, I enjoy making videos, I enjoy editing, I enjoy everything I enjoy making, making new friends on Xbox and everything and that is never wasted in my life in my opinion, my parents never really tell me to get off my Xbox and stuff they say, oh you're spending a really long time on there now, and I'm like yeah I know but I, I do go downstairs sometimes. I don't really go outside much. <laughs> Probably why I'm so pale. Um, but it's only wasting your life, wasting time all on Xbox is never going to benefit you. And look at KSI, look at Norden Shat, Phase Rain, look at Adapts, look at Jev. They're all really well off now just because they were themselves on the internet and they did something they love doing. Now they're doing it even more and they're earning money from it, which makes it the best thing in the world. Like you're enjoying. Like you have the best job in the world because you enjoy doing it and you're getting money from it, which is is the best thing ever. But get, even getting a lot of money isn't the best, like the most needed thing. Like happiness doesn't come from, always come from money. I think that, but it can bring you happiness. It's just I don't know. You can buy things to make you happy. Like um, I really want Black Ops Three right now and Astros and. A beast computer and <laughs> yeah and a mansion I don't know but they can all make you happy but I don't know like I was thinking because me and my granddad we always go out to place because my granddad's a legend uh, he bought my Xbox one and stuff and um, you know like I'm really really grateful for that but it's not everything sorry if I went really quiet there for a second my my recording software just kind of like froze but anyway I was gonna say so me and my granddad we always go to the cinema together we always have like really good time and go to London or whatever do really interesting stuff and um, I was just thinking like the times we share you money can't buy type of things like that really like they can get you there but they can't <laughs> you know what I mean but we're gonna London soon I'm probably gonna do a vlog of this I'm gonna do a lot of video and uh, photos so if you guys want that I'll definitely do that I'd like to say uh, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate it, I just rambled on a little about a load of random things in this, um, I don't know, I've just been playing a load of PC games recently because I'm not enjoying COD at all, it's just so stale and I like, just don't enjoy it, so uh, big shout out to Linus or Twin Cities again, he is a le he's a legend, he's a beast, he's a good friend of mine, so drop him a follow if you could, and uh, it's been your boy Chili, I'm out, peace.